You've been waiting on us for five months, but it's finally here. Friends, freaks, and family, this is FPS Control Beta 5, and it is incredible. Let me show you around and show you, uh, you know, how warm the water is here. As you can see on the left, there's a new toolbar that comes into the editor, and I will get into that in a second. But first, let's just jump straight into the game, and as you can see from the start, it is extremely smooth. For example, if I look at these boxes here, and I'm letting go of my mouse and keyboard right now, and you can see the boxes still slowly move. And that is because we're simulating slow breathing. Things like that are very popular in the uh, high-end games these days. And so we've put all that in. The reason why it's so smooth is because the uh, movement is now handled by physics rather than by straight angular calculations. So we've rebuilt the entire player system and the weapon handling system to be physics based and this was almost like bypass surgery it was very very difficult but we did the hard stuff so you don't have to now take a look at the gun here as soon as I move my mouse up and down you can see the damping on it is very very smooth this is also very popular in uh, in the high-end games I hope my video capturing software will do this right to show you, you know sort of how, how smooth it is Another thing you will notice is that we implemented scoping. This was, of course, a missing feature in Beta 4, and the you know uh, uh, crosshair starts to move. You can change anything about the crosshair as well. By the way, it, those are vectors; those are not images. You can change everything about it, rotate it, change color, change color when it looks at specific things. All that you can change. When I fire the gun, you will notice the muzzle flash is beautiful. Uh, also, there's a light burst showing up, and uh, a little line that goes from the gun towards the actual uh, impact. Now, these decals here that you see will only show up in geometry that is tagged as environment. If you don't give it the tag environment, the decals won't show up because, for example, you don't want them to show up on invisible walls and have a floating bullet hole. Those type of things. Now, anything about the weapon you can change in the weapon control editor, uh, which I can show you as well. Now notice that the weapon control editor is not a free tool. It is, uh, you know, for those people that want to go a little bit further. Uh, but it is as, you know, um, uh, as cheap as we could make it, and um, it is extremely powerful. It will not only allow you to make weapons that are, you know, gun-like. It also allows you to make, for example, grenades that you throw over an arch, so you can see the arch while you're walking around. Uh, it can also create melee weapons, so swords and pitchforks and whatever you, what have you. And we'll go over those in detail in future tutorials. Now, as you can see, there are a ton of settings, and this may blow your mind just a little bit at first, but in the tutorials, we'll show you exactly what they mean. For example, the mash and animations, all you do is drag your 3D mash onto this spot here and the system will automatically read out what animations are associated with this weapon and you can map them to the associated states so that it fires and all that stuff correctly then you can change the damage the gun does it change uh, you know if it reloads or how much ammo it uses you can change where it shows in the viewport uh, the sound effects the render path the particles and where on the gun they spawn anything light bursts you can change uh, for example let me go in here again and pick up this weapon um, if I change the position here in the editor as you can see multiple things are blocked out now because you cannot change everything in real time uh, but I could change you know the Z angle of this weapon I could move it forward and backward I can move it up and down. I can even change the position where it is while we're scoping and it scopes in for us and holds it there. Um, I can change the animation that's playing while it's scoping. All of those things are possible. Alright, so uh, that is weapon control. It's huge but we'll have to cover it in more tutorials. Uh, then let's go to this sidebar thing here and this is extremely powerful because it adds modeling and texturing capabilities to the Unity 3D engine inside of FPS control. Uh, and most engines already come with their own level editors. It's a pretty standard thing if you've been in game design more than seven years in the 3D worlds, uh, then you know that it's pretty standard in most engines, but Unity uh, wanted to go straight to the 3D packages instead, so they've never implemented it. Not even a sort of a solid grid system, if you will, uh, which is beyond me, but we've added it in 
for you. So here if I create a new cube and I turn my grid system off on, I can move this thing around and as you can see it snaps to the grid perfectly. Now if I wanted to start modeling this box and for example make a ramp that my character could walk on, all I have to do is hit G to go into geometry editing mode. I can change these vertices here and as you can see while I'm stretching this box out, the texture does not stretch. It tiles, uh, you know, which is of course uh, also pretty standard in, in, in most engines but the guys that we're partnering with 6x7 Studios have gone through the pain of building this inside of FPS Control. Completely awesome. If I switch to a different editing mode, for example vertices, what I can do is I can select the vertices here and move them around to turn this thing into a ramp. Very, very cool stuff. Now if I hit the uh, G key again, I go back to other mode. If I hit the J key uh, I can texture this guy so I can switch what texture is on here and um, if I use the move handles I can move the texture around on the surface. Hold on, I need to press J again to bring this back up but as you can see the texture starts to move around. Um, I have a little s issue with my selection here but that's because of my uh, video um, capturing software here it doesn't really do that in real life. Alright, so uh, you can make any shape you want, you can quickly build levels, even if you are a professional 3D modeler, you will come into uh, the situation where you want to quickly test something out and don't want to swap in between packages, and so you quickly create something um, to, to test if it works for your character. Now, a lot of these features in here, grouping, merging, and uh, you know, uh, are, are pro features, so they don't come with the free version. But as you are used to with FPS Control, everything is free to play with, so you can uh, give it a go. Um, and most of the features are free, uh, so if you need it, you can uh, you can purchase it for the most inexpensive price you've ever seen in your life. So those are a couple of the new features inside of Beta 5. It is literally mind-blowing. I haven't even showed you half of the things. For example, if I press Control, I can crouch, which is a new feature we've implemented. Uh, the artificial intelligence has now support for mechanim so that you can blend animations so that it can, you know, jump over something while it's shooting at you at the same time. Things like that. The list just goes on and on. It's been an absolute blast of five months of development. And um, so we uh, can't wait to see what you come up with. Go to fpscontrol.com, download the new version of Beta 5. And another thing that you may want to know is that in future versions, the FPS control can update itself. So uh, that means if you purchase something, it can update itself or if new versions come out so that you don't have to rebuild uh, your level or try to import it into a new version. So things are pretty compatible now. Pretty awesome. Go check it out. Post on the forums what you're making with it. We can't wait to see it. It is worth uh, seeing what you guys make with it. Uh, is uh, putting all the long hours in that we're that we're putting in as well as our development staff. All right, thanks so much, um, and go knock yourself out. Bye bye.